Yo, I am 100% expecting the like to dislike ratio on this specific video to be way off, but I don't give a damn. I'm here to argue. Roll it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Channel's name is The Third Ernest. I'm Ernest Adiano The Third, y'all guys' third family. If you're new here and you're not subscribed and you like what you see at the end of the video, consider clicking the subscribe button bottom right hand corner. Now, like I said a couple weeks ago in one of the community posts on YouTube, I was talking about how I wanted to steal Anthony Fantano's segment of Let's Argue, where he where he argues points with his fans, because I wanna kinda get into y'all's mind a little bit more and that that's an easy way to do it, especially considering the fact that most of the things that I do on the channel, the people that click the videos are gonna agree with what I'm saying or they already like they already like the band or the artist or, or whatever but when it comes to a let's argue segment uh, I'm gonna I'm trying to go against the grain from what my from what people who who watch the channel from what they think and this argument right here was first brought up in discord because I was, I was talking about iOS or I was talking about Apple or something and obviously discord's demographic is gonna be primarily PC users PC master race PC gaming whatever the hell discord is tailored for that community so automatically I was gonna be outnumbered just in the fact that we were having that discussion on that platform but last night on Twitter because I'm gonna about to buy the new iPhone I'm gonna go pre-order it tomorrow I literally posted vote below for what I should cop and y'all Android motherfuckers, I don't want to see y'all comment talking about neither Samsung's better, keep your inferiority complex out of this. And I said that jokingly, knowing that I was probably going to trigger some Android users, but I was like, since I'm pre-ordering the phone tomorrow, how about we just discuss and argue as to why I think that the iPhone is better than Android phones, specifically the Samsung phones. But right out of the gate, I wanted to point out and kind of like talk talk about the biggest the biggest argument that Android users have when it comes to trying to trying to debunk the fact or trying to change people's minds as to why Android is better than iOS and it is going to be the hardware specifications, the specs. And I'm here to tell you right now, I don't give a damn about the specifications because specs are only specs. How do those specs work in my real life? And I'm here to tell you they don't work as good as iOS specifications and iPhone specs. Let me put this mentality that I have into kind of like layman's terms or make it a little more understanding to you why I have this mentality when it comes to specifications. For the first portion of my like professional life, I guess from like 19 to like 26, I was literally a salesman nonstop. And one of the things that you need to know about sales is that you do not, it's literally a common phrase, you do not sell the steak, you sell the sizzle. You don't sell the specifications of shit because no one cares about specs. You sell how does it how does it integrate into their life? So when people are coming at me with specs, all oh, the S20 has this camera, it has a thousand times optical, or a thousand, you can see Mars, you can see you can see Mark Watney on the surface of Mars trying to trying to come back to Earth. So first off, I don't care what Apple tells you, I don't care what Samsung manufacturers tell you. At this current time, with the technology that we have and with the way these phones are designed, no camera phone will ever be pro grade that will replace this $3,500 camera that I am talking into. They're better cameras than anybody's ever been able to put in their pocket but they are still cell phone cameras at the end of the day and the way that these cameras integrate into real life these specs that that they that they tout and that they throw out there they literally are useless because most people are not doing anything other than with the camera than posting on Instagram posting on social media because they want their friends and family to see once you take those camera specs and you run it through a compression algorithm for Instagram for Twitter for Facebook for snapchat especially snapchat for Android it automatically degrades the quality of the photo so now that amazing camera is like it they, they all look the same whenever they're uploaded you can only take advantage of the full specs that a camera has is whenever you are looking on the phone because it's uncompressed it's right there on the phone or when you print it out because again it is uncompressed but who is doing that who is looking at their who is looking at their photo album and be like "Ooh, this is a nice picture this is a nice picture I wish I could share them with this quality but you can't that's just not the way that's not the way the world works and when it comes to the actual hardware besides the camera the processor the RAM the you know whatever you're not gonna sit there and tell me that there is a noticeable difference in speed between the iPhone and the Android they are both upper high level highest tier phones there's there's no difference again the specifications don't matter because you're not 
not actually doing computing on the phone. At any given moment, I'm probably using maybe 10 or 15% of what my phone's capable of pushing out there. That's just because I don't, I don't, I don't use the phone for things that need crazy power. So at the end of the day, the specifications on, on paper look impressive, but it's not gonna do anything different than what the iPhone does and vice versa. And then the next thing that Android users say, well, there's not as much customization on the iPhone. You can't do what you want with it. I can do what I want with it. What I want is a phone that works right out of the box. I don't care about changing the font. I don't care about pinning widgets and having my home screen look all disoriented and, and cluttered. Now that iOS 14 has widgets, that was really the only thing that Android had that I wish iOS had was widgets and now it's here. I don't care about customability. I care more so about the aesthetics of the phone and, and how and how everything looks the same. So the fact that you can customize out the ass, it's never something, I, I literally, the ringer on my phone is the ringer that the phone came with. So obviously I don't give a damn about customization. And I would say most people don't care about customization. And then you're gonna go in and say, oh, but what about the what about the pen? It's gonna take me longer to write than it is for me to type out in the notes. So I don't give a damn about the pen on the note. Oh, what about the fact that you can do split screen, especially with the, with the phone that folds? I don't care about split screen either. If I need to be doing that much detailed computing, I am doing it on this motherfucker right here. I am not doing it on my phone. The only thing that I might ever split screen on my phone would be video from like YouTube or Twitch or somewhere and doing phone things. But now iOS 14 allows for that. Twitch has already updated their app to allow you to view when you go back to the home screen. When you're on Twitch watching somebody, it goes into the top right hand corner and then you can still type, you can still go to other, other sections of, of the phone. So that's really all that I was ever gonna use it for and now that's here, so. I don't care about split screen. And then there's gonna be your general iPhone and Apple complaints saying that we're fanboys, like I said, or that the phones, the, the, the phone broke a thousand dollars on the iPhone 10, like, okay, so did Samsung's, but no one was talking about it. And then, oh, they took out the headphone jack. Oh my God, how could they do this to their, I don't even remember the last time I used corded headphones. I use corded headphones to make videos, but that's because I'm making videos for just my normal everyday. I use Bluetooth. I've been using Bluetooth for years. They said that they said it went back and now it looks like the iPhone 4. Who cares that it looks like the iPhone 4? It's nice. The quality of materials is nicer than the iPhone 4 ever was. And the iPhone 4 was my favorite design change. So whatever you know but even with all that even with the hardware disagreements and even with the the disagreements on customability and the disagreements on useless features that i don't that i could care less that i couldn't care less about i personally like the iphone and i like apple in general because of the ecosystem that it has and how it seamlessly integrates with other apple users ecosystems like airdrop i could seamlessly send something to somebody crazy amount of s's alliteration right there but i can i can do that without requiring the other person to download an app or without requiring some kind of like like a workaround in order to do it, just boom, boom. Yes, there's Google Drive for Android and all that, but that again, that's another step in the process that, that's eliminated. People who come over to my house and wanna hop on my Wi-Fi who have iPhones, it's gonna say, hey, do you want this person to have the Wi-Fi password? Why, yes, iPhone, I do. And then boom, just like that, there's no, okay, uppercase three, uppercase two, lowercase a, b, c, is there's none of that. And yes, I know I said uppercase three and two, that was, that was on purpose. But again, just usability is so easy with iPhones. And then the last thing why I personally believe that iOS and, and iPhones are better than Android, any Android phone, is because the, the hardware manufacturer is also the developer of the software that goes on that hardware. And you might say that that reliability is a placebo effect because manufacturers have caught up to like the speed that Android is releasing updates. You can say it's a placebo effect, but it's definitely not. There is something to be said for the hardware manufacturer, for Apple to be making the hardware and designing the software to work as flawlessly as possible on that hardware. And that's the same for the iPhone. Yes, they high-end Samsung S20 phones, S S20 LE or whatever the hell. Yes, they are gonna be as, as nice phones as possible. But when you start getting into the lower tiers of phones, that's when the that's when the usability of Android starts to starts to decay. But when you start getting into the lower tier of iPhones, it's still gonna be the same, it's still gonna be pretty much the same experience because same manufacturer, same software. So not only do Apple products just work, the useless features and all the things that I don't even care about, on top of the fact that we have this like list of stats that people feel the need to throw out to the Apple users, Apple users in general don't really care about that. 
because we're not using our phone to do all these things that the stats are maxed out for. And you can clearly see that just in the way that Apple advertises compared to Samsung. They're always saying, look at what you can do with our product. Who gives a shit about the specs? Everybody knows for a thousand dollars, the specs are gonna be out of this world. But look at how these specs can integrate into your everyday life. And that's just, that's what I care about. But Android users, y'all can feel free to disagree with me. Apple users, you can feel free to agree with me and put some other comments or some other talking points that I didn't that I didn't mention or bring up here, but I'm down. I'm excited to see the like to dislike ratio here. I'm excited to see the different commentary and comments and, and arguments in the comments. That's, that's what this whole segment is gonna be all about. But that's all that I got for you today, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate everybody's time. Go out there in the world, love and care for one another, love and care for each other, and I'll catch everybody on the next video. Peace.